We are born and normal in foot, now she in foot within two man. This front day being, the very first day where they born now. Well, I know they feel fine, but I began to believe they say, if life day, we will most meet up. Because I didn't know say, yes, it must come. Fudia and Papa died in um, 2019. They be done there with me before, and Mama died. Because we and Mama come when Papa die, we'll go to the Sarah. So now we all with him, Mama now we carry and I will be there. So we'll be ready for go now. And the tell and left, give me food there. The school will be the go we said them born now. But we carry the first school we put them and company they want away from them. So it make and not begin go school again. I pull and they I send another school back at the same thing. So even when they go back to the corner, now that word they back then they tell me they say, well, doctor not the way go but attend to ram, Lord wait until my shift come. So now me make myself began. So I don't count now now six years. I don't know with me now. I think Fudia's life has been tough. Fudia has a challenging family situation in which she has lost her parents and she is raised by um, other family members. So for a part, she might have been grieving for the loss of her parents and maybe grieving for the fact that she was not a normal child. She was not a happy child that you're supposed to be for her age. And sometimes even children with the same deformity as her, you can still see some joy in their eyes. And I felt with Fudia that for her, life has really been a struggle up to this point. Fudia's legs are so deformed that her ability to walk is really limited. Uh, her feet really point inside 90 degrees. That limits the amount that she can walk. She's always limiting the activities that she does with other people because she's ashamed and, uh, you know, not only she cannot walk, but she socially is not interacting like other children. So hopefully by making her legs straighter, putting her feet pointing forward, she will also open her social skills and her heart. So it's a big surgery. She's going to be under uh, general anesthetic for many hours and she's going to have long leg cast for many weeks. So it's a, it'll be a long process. It's a big commitment from her side as well to rehabilitate and you know, learn to walk again with your feet pointing in the right direction. There's something about her when she experienced some things that you can really say like, wow, this girl had to fight for her life. Well, after almost four weeks of being in the bed and being in the chair, Fudia today can do her first steps with the walker. We are all very excited. We're all Fudia fans! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay, small, small. It's beautiful. It's a blessing to be able to see a life change so much from a child that has had pain in her eyes. Not even when she had physical pain, she just sometimes had pain in her eyes because she went through stuff. And then now to see her and to come up to her and you hear her little giggles and the joy in her eyes, it's, it's been everything. This girl, she's got energy, she's got life, she's got determination. She's proved herself with resilience time and time again. You could say Fuji's name on the ship and almost everybody will know who you're talking about. And that's a testament to how she brought people together and how she smiled. Yeah, it's those changes that are the most tangible. I mean, you can look at a picture and see these beautiful straight legs, but for me, what stands out is her affect in her face. She was carrying a lot before, and you can see she's light, she's free, and uh, I think she's going places. Yeah.